<sighs> Hi everyone, Long Thinny Trip Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Current 93 album, The Light is Leaving Us All. This is the latest full-length album from UK neo-folk godfathers, Current 93, which is a musical project founded in the 80s with like a, a bajillion albums, founded by poet and frontman David Tibet, who got his start in the UK music scene, palling around and collaborating with some of the best and brightest coming out of the industrial music revolution onset by bands like Throbbing Gristle, Psychic TV, Nurse with Wound. Now, given that, it would only make sense that David Tibet's early work under the current 93 name would have kind of an industrial tone to it, like on Dog's Blood Rising or Nature Unveiled. But slowly, current 93 would eventually transition away from a lot of these industrial and ambient atmospheres and evolve into a sound that was more akin to English folk music. Keep in mind that Tibet has been the only creative constant in Current 93 from start to finish, and each sonic metamorphosis the band has undergone has sort of come off the back of a change in personnel, at least to some degree. That being said though, by the early 90s, Tibetan company had fully developed this dark and poetic strain of folk music with a medieval twist and a theatrical edge, most notably on albums like Thunder Perfect Mind, Of Ruin, or Some Blazing Star, and All the Pretty Little Horses. Albums that feature not just winding, gorgeous, mystical folk guitars, but also violins, psychedelic drones, pianos, woodwinds, bells, hand percussion. But easily the most standout thing of these records and the current 93 discography in general is David Tibet himself. The dude is a showstopper. And not just because of his totally batty and campy delivery style. He sounds like a wild ass NPC from an old English RPG where you're like spelunking caves and pillaging like weird thief coves and learning some boss ass spells. Again, it's not just his delivery that makes David Tibet so interesting, but also his lyrics. Laced with occultism, paganism, really religion and spirituality of all stripes, mysticism, esoteric historical figures, philosophy, mortality, also cats. And since the 90s, Current 93 have worked a lot of other genres and sounds into their folky repertoire. Whether that be noise rock, or hymns, or classical music, I recommend you check out the album Soft Black Stars, which sees David Tibet over a lot of lovely pianos. Or the band's last proper album in 2014, which sees them embracing really everything but the kitchen sink. An album that at the time flew totally over my head, but now that I have a better grip of their back catalog, I now appreciate just how weird of a left hook this record was for them. So Current 93 has undergone a lot of changes over the years, as most groups who have been putting out music for about four decades do. But for most of it, the band's arcane tendencies and Tibet's bold poetry have remained at the center of whatever they're doing. Now, 2018 so far has been a pretty busy year for Current 93, as Tibet has released a spoken word sound collage piece. He also put out a collaborative record with the Italian experimental rock, metal, and jazz band Zoo, easily one of the most instrumentally ambitious records yet to be attached to Current 93. And now we have this, The Light is Leaving Us All, a record that by the standards of Current 93's recent output is kind of scaling things back. Returning to the more organic and kind of medieval folk instrumentation that put the band on the map. But it's not just an old school or a throwback current 93 album, as there are some unique characteristics to this record that kind of make it stand out. For one, this is easily one of the most fluid and cohesive records in the current 93 discography, as many of the tracks on this thing seamlessly flow into one another, and there are some really clear lyrical themes that pull the entire record together, whether it be witches or birds, birds singing, birds leaving, field recordings of birds. Also, the title of this album is kind of a lyrical mantra that pulls us through numerous tracks on this thing too, as David Tibet waxes poetic on things like loss and changes and cycles of various sorts, light to dark, shifting seasons. It's like he's spinning a series of enchanting vignettes around a central but cryptic set of themes, in front of a series of instrumental backdrops of varying intensities, whether it be the plucky gentle string melodies intertwining on The Policeman Is Dead, or the frigid electric piano arpeggios on Bright Dead Star, which come off super forlorn, heart-wrenching. I also love the guitar and xylophone combo, I think it's a xylophone, on 30 Red Houses. These curious little melodies dancing around each other are matched with 
one of the most sinister vocal deliveries that David Tibet brings on the entire record. Then there's A Thousand Witches, which features this very sparse funeral march percussion, some chilling woodwinds, and rich piano. There are also some stunning and swelling walls of sound on this thing, too. Whether it be noisy and dissonant, like on the very surreal The Postman is Singing, which features some horns and strings and raw guitar chords, or with The Kettles On, which has some sour layers of fluttering strings. There are a few instrumentals here that meander a bit and don't progress all that much, but even on the tracks where this happens, it's not all that bad, as it still contributes to this album's gorgeous aesthetic and strong sense of place. There is a wonderful sense of immersion to the sound and the style of this album, as it makes me feel like I'm transported to another place, another time. However, I will say the consistent lyrical themes of this record I do think are a bit of a double-edged sword. It doesn't come off as unpredictable or as alien as some of the wordplay and topics that David has presented on previous releases, which could be really good for newcomers. Occasionally, David might even drop some lyrical food for thought, too. And if a man blinds a man, his eye is blinded. If a man breaks the bone of another man, his bone is broken. If a man knocks out the tooth of another man, his tooth is knocked out. Which I kind of read as a statement on the futility of violence as a means to an end. Generally, Tibet's words on this album are pretty evocative. However, I did find after multiple listens to this album, some of the lyrical themes do grow a little stale and I start getting some deja vu. In a way, I do prefer how puzzling and obtuse some of his lyricism was on previous efforts. I think a slightly larger instrumental presentation would have been a nice touch on this record too, as there are a handful of cuts on here that are lovely but meander a little bit musically. Bench in the Fetch, Your Future Cartoon, and Policeman is Dead to a Degree. Those are really my biggest complaints with this album though. It's a lovely record. Lovely, endearing, strange, and pretty unique too. Maybe not in the grander current 93 discography, but still, after all these years, there are so few groups out there that are doing exactly what David Tibet and company are doing, which obviously contributes to current 93's obscurity, but simultaneously, it's part of the reason they have such a passionate fan base to begin with. Because where the hell else are you getting this? I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this thing, Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is a, another review that you can check out, hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Current 93, the light is leaving us all forever.